Do you see a way to bridge this gap between the average, the fictional average person who's willing to pay $40 and what it seems to be kind of one level deeper from that, which is the 52% of Americans who are willing to pay $1. At least $1. At least $1. The 33% of Americans who seem kind of willing to say yes to any dollar amount you throw at them. And then the you know 48% of Americans who will say, who say, no, I just wouldn't pay anything more. I do think that we will eventually be able to bridge the gap because you look at the numbers and every year, they get better. Every year people are willing to do more. Every year more and more people care about this issue and prioritize it when they go to the polls. But the thing about climate that's different from everything else is number one, it is intersectional, and number two, there's a timeline. And so it doesn't make a difference whether you are on the extremely wealthy end or you on the, the extremely poor end. Climate change continues to happen and it will impact all of us. So it is in our best interest if we want to beat the time clock that we figure out how to work together. How do we make that time clock more salient for people, more important for them to solve quickly? You know, in the Florida Keys, there are a lot of very conservative fishermen down there and charter boat captains. And, and I would tell them, hey, the environment is the economy. So we really do have to meet people where they're at. And that's how we're going to continue building this national coalition that's going to help us address probably the greatest challenge, not just of one generation, but uh, for multiple generations. I can talk to a hunter about the changes in the weather and whether or not the rains are coming at a different time. I, I have been talking about climate the entire time. And the recognition is that the people who I'm talking to are talking about climate and they are just as concerned as a social activist that's sitting in California. I think the more that we begin to show how climate and environmental impacts are actually a part of our everyday life, as opposed to something separate, the closer we become on what that solution path is.